Yo YouTube, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, back with another review and unboxing. And this is two video Saturday. Earlier, I brought you guys the unboxing and review of the camera I'm using to take this video, which is the Sony CX405. And now I'm bringing you guys another review on a pair of headphones that I've wanted to review and unbox for a while now. I just kind of put other headphones in front of these to unbox and review for the channel. But I knew for a fact that at some point in time I was gonna get my hands on these so without further ado we're gonna review and unbox these and these are the Sony MDR X950 Bluetooth wireless extra bass headphones and you guys know my format I take you to the website. I'm gonna go over the specs very briefly because these have been out for a little while now. There's a hundred other review and unboxing videos on them, but this is the only Tecmo review and unboxing. So, like I said, I'm gonna take you to the website. I'm gonna go over the specs very briefly. Then we get straight to the review and unboxing and I'll give you an analysis of how I think they sound. So, that being said, stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm here on Sony's website. I'm going to go over the specs and features very quickly so we can go ahead and get into the review and unboxing. And again, this is what we're going to be reviewing and unboxing right here. The Sony XB950BT Extra Bass Bluetooth Headphones. And you have options in terms of colors. This is the pair that I got. The black with the red accents or you can get the red with the silver accents or the blue with the silver accents. And here we have the marketing deep bass without wires, although you can use these with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that has been included in the packaging. Now, one thing to note is that you cannot enable the extra bass boost when you're using it with the cord. You have to be using it wirelessly in order to enjoy the extra bass. So if that's an issue for you, you might have to look elsewhere in terms of bass headphones, but it's not an issue for me because I prefer wireless headphones. So that's the main reason why I got these. Now these have 40 millimeter drivers. That's the same size of the drivers that are in the crushers. And these are supposed to deliver intense bass. You have NFC. That doesn't help me because I have an iPhone, but for those of you that have NFC enabled devices, you can just tap them against the headphones and they will pair seamlessly. And it says they have a wide frequency of response, three hertz to 28 kilohertz. You have powerful punchy sound with your electro bass booster. Um, some more information, again, your 40 millimeter drivers. Um, going down. It says that you have up to 20 hours of battery life. So that's another difference between these and the crushers. With the crushers, you get about 40 hours. So it's pretty much double what you will get with these. So the battery life definitely is better on those. Um, smartphone friendly, it says. These are supposed to be comfortable with the ear pads. Pack and go. Now you can't fold them, but you can turn the headphones inwards and lay them down. Now you can fold the crusher, so that's another difference in between the two. And again, this is just a condensed version of what I just read. And here it says beat response control reduces heavy bass distortion. Okay, so that being said, let me get back behind the camera and get into the review and unboxing. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back behind the camera. I'm just going to give you guys a look at the boxing real quick so you have an idea of what you're going to get if you go pick these up. The bottom, not too much. On the side, nothing at all. On the top, nothing at all. On the other side, has extra bass with a picture of one of the sides of the headphones. And on the back, you have a few pictures and you just have an overview of the specs there. To open them, there's a tab here. You pull that open. Then you get to the actual box that contains the goodies. So it's just a black box, doesn't have any writing on it, just all black. And you have the tab here on the right hand side, which you open up. 
here. I'm pretty sure is your documentation, user guide, and all your normal stuff. And then here you have your cords. You have your charging cord and you have your 3.5 millimeter cord if you do not want to use them wirelessly. Again, you cannot enable the extra bass boost if you use them with the cord. And I guess I need to note that this does not come with a carrying case. Um, it's just the headphones in here. There's nothing else. Make sure there's nothing under here. Yeah, so no carrying case. I mean, the crushers do come with a carrying case, so that's another difference in between the two, but um, it's not a deal breaker for me. Let's just look at the headphones a little closer. And these cups here, these ear cups are pretty large, but they feel nice and plush. They feel like, you know, they'll conform to your ears pretty good. You can't fold them, but you can lay them down like so. Here are your controls, your playback controls. You got your volume right here. Then you have your play and pause, which you push in and out. And then the slider is how you change your tracks. Okay. And you can answer calls with these hang up calls, all the normal stuff that all of the Bluetooth headphones pretty much do today. And on this one, you have your power button, you have your bass boost, and you have your jack for your charging. Here's your mic, and here is where you would plug them in if you do not want to use them wirelessly. Okay, so I'll give you an idea how they look on me. Give me a second. Okay guys, so this is how they look on me. I must say they are pretty comfortable. They don't feel heavy like they're weighing me down at all. They feel, you know, comfortable like I can wear them for an extended period of time and they're not going to hurt my ears. So, side view other side and again they feel comfortable these are not going to be gym headphones for me so i'm not worried about them being sweat proof or anything like that these will be something that i use at the airport or while i'm sitting around the house something of that nature so that being said i'm going to pair them to my phone then play a couple songs and i'll be back with an analysis of how i think they sound Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I paired them to my phone. Pairing was super simple. I didn't have any issues with that. But one thing that I will say that I like better on the Skull Candy Crushers is the slider. Now this pair of headphones, either you have the bass boost on or you have it off. On the Skull Candy Crushers, you can adjust it. You can slide it up or slide it down. And I really like that feature. Now, I will say that I like the bass that the Skull Candy Crushers deliver a lot more than I like the bass that these deliver. The sound that these deliver is like a manufactured sound. It's not that deep, rich subwoofer in the back of your trunk type of bass that you get with the Skull Candy Crushers. That bass is deep. It's headache bass. You know what I mean? That bass sounds more natural. This sounds like it's manufactured, like they're trying to create the bass, but it's not natural. But other than that, the highs are pretty good. I would say that the highs are probably maybe a 7.5 to 8 on these. I definitely like the Skull Candy Crushers highs better than I like these highs. And the bass I would give probably about an 8 on these. I don't like the manufactured feel of the bass that these deliver. Now all in all, these are $199. Right. right now the skull candy crushers you can find them on sale for about 150 and these you can find them on sale on amazon in different places for about 150 as well i say personally i lean towards the skull candy crushers a little bit more now a problem that i do have with those is that you do hear screws or whatever is in the headphones rattling around when the bass is really punching now these i haven't heard that so far when I put them on, I don't feel anything shaking inside, and I don't know if it's because they're brand new, but within the first couple days, I did hear things rattling inside of my Skull Candy Crusher, so that is something that can be a little bit annoying. Sound-wise, hands down, I give it to the Skull Candy Crushers. I like those a lot better. I hope this video gave you guys some information, and I hope that if you're looking to buy these, you can make an informed decision. Until next time, guys, I want to thank everybody that has liked and subscribed to the channel. I have gotten your emails, guys, to those 
of you that have emailed me asking me for different videos about how I got into YouTube and have I made any money yet? Have I become discouraged yet? I am going to put that video out. I have got the emails asking me to do more reaction videos. I'll get to those as well. But again, this is a tech channel. This is a gaming channel. So I got to bring the unboxings and reviews first. And I will definitely get to those videos as well because for the subscribers that have been around and have been supporting the channel, I'll always do the videos that I can do for you guys. And I don't have a problem if it entertains you guys. I'll do a couple reaction videos. I'll do the videos that you guys are asking me questions and that type of thing. So stay tuned. Those are coming soon. This content is not going to stop, guys. I'm here to stay. So until next time, guys, Tecmo out. Peace. Okay.